So let's look at the following example. How long does it take a car to travel a city block that is 50 meters long, assuming that our car begins from rest and it travels or accelerates uniformly at a rate of 2.5 meters per second squared. Also, what is the final velocity of our car at the 50 meter mark? So we're looking for the time it requires for our car to travel those 50 meters and the final velocity at the 50 meter mark. So let's draw our diagram. Here we have our car. It begins at some initial point. Let's set this initial point to be x not equals 0 meters. This initial velocity or the initial velocity at that point is also 0 meters per second. Why? Well, because our car begins from rest. Now, when it actually travels our final distance, so when it reaches x equals 50 meters, what is its velocity? Well, in order to find what the velocity is, we must first find what the time is. In other words, how long does it take our car to travel this distance, knowing that it accelerates uniformly at a rate of 2.5 meters per second squared. So, let's begin by using the following formula. Our x or our final position is equal to the initial position plus our initial velocity times the time elapsed plus one half times our acceleration multiplied by our time squared. So, we know what our x final is, it's 50 meters. We know what our x initial is, it's zero meters. So this first term cancels. We know what our initial velocity is, so this entire second term cancels. So we're left with our term on this side and one term on the other side. So 50 meters equals one half times our constant acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared multiplied by our unknown, our time squared. So one half times 2.5 is 1.25. So 50 meters equals 1.25 meters per second squared multiplied by our time squared. So, let's divide both sides by 1.25 and then take the radical of both sides because we want to get t by itself on one side. So, 50 divided by 1.25 radical of that and that gives us, so radical 40 is about 6.3 seconds. So, it takes our car to drive or to travel a distance of 50 meters with this acceleration, it takes to travel 6.3 seconds. So now knowing this time and knowing our acceleration, we can find our velocity by simply multiplying these two guys out. Why? Well, because we have meters per second squared and we have seconds. So if you multiply them out, one of the seconds cancels and we're left with our value of our final velocity and meters per second. Now said another way, what this means is this is the rate of change of our velocity. So our velocity is changing every second. It's increasing by an amount of 2.5 meters per second. So if we travel for 3 point or 6.3 seconds, we simply multiply these two and we get our number. Or we can use the formula. V equals V initial plus AT. So we know what our V initial is at zero. We know what our A is and our T is. We multiply these two guys out. We get about 15.75. So we approximate to two significant digits and we get 16 meters per second. That is our final velocity of our car. Now our direction of our car, our direction of the velocity is in the same direction as acceleration. It's going this way in a positive direction along our x-axis.